Okay, so I'm Dravina from the CPSF mm -hmm. and um, basically from Saturday uh, certain roads have not have water. water. Total shutdown was on Sunday and Monday morning we woke up to maybe an hour of water in our taps uh, but uh, by say 4 o'clock it was gone. So we, we can say from 4 o'clock Monday morning to date to time we haven't had water in our taps. Mm -hmm. um, We've made numerous calls to uh, our local count ward councillor, that's Ward 59 councillor, councillor Majola. Unfortunately, to date, again, we've had no comeback from him. Not even a WhatsApp message or anything. Uh, numerous uh, residents have complained that they've had verbal abuse from the people in his office. Uh, some guys have even gone on Facebook and given the exact words that they read. And uh, so we actually then contacted our uh, deputy town councillor, that's councillor Chris Langer, and he's been assisting us from Monday. So he's been in meetings and basically yesterday they, he pushed uh, and urged uh, Itikweni Council to come up with something and we were given metro water tanks. Unfortunately, the, the metro water tanks does not go into the inner roads of Trenant's Park and that's where independent sponsors have come in. Mm -hmm. And because they have smaller vehicles, smaller trucks, they, we are going into the smaller roads. Okay. You can go ahead and mention some of the sponsors. And of course, uh, what, what has been the feedback from municipality? When will water be back? in this area okay uh, we've been uh, we can't confirm this but there is rumors that it might only be restored in two weeks time because they've been disappointed by municipality before they're not sure whether municipality trucks are going to be coming in throughout but according to Chris La Mr. Chris Langa, he will try his best to get out trucks, even if it's at least once a day. Okay. So our independent sponsors, namely, have been Venpac and Nixka, and um, I must mention SBA Protect and Lee's Electronics. Um, these companies have worked throughout the night last night, making sure roads had water, people had water, even during the... Um, the load shedding, we were on the road assisting people with water and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are also uh, too many others to mention because we had reached out to radio stations and um, ENCA news and everything. So they were getting people to come and sponsor. Uh, I won't really know because they were getting trucks to just come in like small trucks with 1000 liters of bottled water mm -hmm. and stuff. Also the Young Muslim Society has um, been donating from uh, every time there's no water they always help us yeah right so i i had to mention them because they've done a lot yes yes okay wonderful all right so let's uh, talk a little bit to the community members here that have been directly affected by it of course uh, you're also a community member here yes, yes. but let's speak to somebody else uh, sir could you please put your mask a little bit higher and then obviously tell us how you've been affected by the loss of water uh, you know i just want to elaborate on uh, what the lady has just said Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, uh, we phoned Mr. Majola. Yes. And, you know, he answer his phone once, and thereafter, his phone is totally off. You can never get him for the whole day. The entire day, you, he never picks up his phone because his phone is off. You mm -hmm. phone to his office, there's no response. Yeah. In turn, what we have done was, Personally, my son has phoned uh, the DA, uh, his name, ma'am, again? Mr. Chris Langer. Correct. And within that day or so, you found quite a few trucks coming here with water. Mm -hmm. Because the water, the trucks don't come in, they go on the main line. Mm -hmm. Right? They were very busy from the day after. Mm -hmm. But on behalf of the family, the people that's living around here, yeah. I really applaud, I really lift my head out to the Muslim community, the mm -hmm. people who really, you know, gave life. But without water, there's no life. Yeah. They actually brought water right to our door. Mm -hmm. And we also go down to the mosque. 
Now the most water there we can drink it, we can use for cooking, you know, things like that. But what the councillors are doing at this very moment is totally uncalled for. It's totally pathetic. But yet when they are, when there's election time, you'll find a whole mob of them here. You'll find a whole mob coming for uh, canvassing. But when you got a problem, you'll never find a person here. Yeah. There's no way. Very strong words from you, sir. So your name, sir? Rajan. Sir himself. Uh, Ma'am, uh, how long have you been a resident here in this area? Uh, like 30 years. 30 years. Mm -hmm. And is this the first time that you're having a long spout of uh, no water? This is exactly the first time. It was a couple of times, but it was like a couple of hours and then it was back to normal. Right. But uh, firstly, I would like to say on behalf of my roadside of Lowe's mm -hmm. uh, and all the community members around here, firstly, I would like to thank Benpack for providing us with today's water mm -hmm. because in fact I have made numerous phone calls to the water department and complaining about tankers and with no water the response that they've given me okay wait ma'am okay uh, five minutes okay half an hour the truck hasn't been here till now mm -hmm. and if it wasn't for these guys these Benpack guys coming and providing us with our water for today we would have had not a drop of water yeah and secondly thanks to the community the muslim society who is helping us with water every day whether it's two five liters one five liter we just managing with that yeah and the sec the third thing i would like to say is as the uncle just said now when there's elections you'll find everybody crowding the circle vote for us we're going to do this we're going to do that we're going to do that we also made numerous phone calls to our counselor which was to no avail and in especially in times like this when we need uh, him to be here to support the community and to help us uh, and give us a helping hand is no way to be found the Sangar family is an independent family who also assisted us immensely yesterday mm -hmm. they actually handed out water they actually they did hand out uh, food to people um, and so uh, they assisted a lot, they did a lot, they uh, were out again today. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, um, because of uh, maybe people going to work and stuff, so they had very short uh, shortage of uh, vehicles. Mm -hmm. But they currently are out in Doncrest at the moment. Alright, okay. Any school kids here? Uh, people are going to school? So how has the water affected your school, well, your schooling? It affected us really badly because We've got uh, projects and assignments and tests that's due and then because of this water crisis we, we got to miss school. Mm -hmm. Like on Monday I had assignments due and then I couldn't go because of this water. Mm -hmm. And even tomorrow too I still have school but I still cannot go because there's still no water. So when it's the water really is back we go to school mm -hmm. and it's really bad. Okay, because so when we go yep. to school, we still need water to wash our hands before having lunch and after having lunch and then in between we have to sanitize and wash our hands with soap yeah. and stuff. So yeah, it's really So basically school's been on hold for the past like six days? Yes. Oh, okay. Because as we go into school, they're sending us back home because there's no water.